A backyard rink means good times and special moments that last for years to come, and they help young players improve their hockey game. Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm your host, Ashley Leach, and in this special edition, we explore three Connecticut rinks selected by our viewers as the finalists in our seventh annual Backyard Rink Contest, sponsored by Save All Pools. Hello, Ken Camello, owner of Save All, authorized distributor installer of nice rink backyard skating rinks. Whether you want a 20 by 40 starter kit all the way up to an 80 by 200 full size hockey rink, please give us a call at Save All, 860-282-0878. These families have turned their yards into a little slice of hockey heaven. Let's go check them out. This is our fourth year having a backyard rink. We've been doing a backyard rink for probably about eight years. This is our third year having a backyard rink. We build a backyard rink because we have two kids that are playing in the Echo Youth Hockey Program. I play in the Connecticut Men's Hockey League Program. When we're stuck inside all the time when it's cold, it's just great to have them go out and get some exercise. We build a backyard rink for the kids. The boys have always loved hockey and we we got the idea that maybe we just could put a tarp and have a little small rink and then it kind of has grown every year into a little bit something more. We build a backyard rink to really create fun and have an avenue for activity for the kids. Two years ago we moved the rink to this location and leveled out the land and made it a permanent structure. Every year when it gets cold enough we set up the tarp, we clean it out, fill it with water and hope for the cold weather. It's about a two-day process overall to set up all the boards but once the liner goes in it's ready to pour the water and we're good to go. Our rink is made out of a 50 by 70 nice rink tarp. The base for the boards is 2 by 6 by 16s that are pressure treated wood and then we have three quarter width plywood that's pressure treated as well and it's all held together by deck brackets. It's plywood boards all the way around and we use the nice rink supplies to go ahead and uh, set up brackets. The high boards are all made out of plywood and the liner comes from nice rink and the rubber bumpers as well. This year we added some lights that are kind of unique, red line and a couple of blue lines. We have some outdoor lighting also so we can skate at night. Our rink is made out of wood that I used to have at a haunted corn maze. We wanted the rink, we had all this wood left over, and my buddy had the idea, let's take all that wood and build walls and build a real structure that we can leave up year round. This year we purchased a new liner from Nice Rink, and we also purchased the red LED for a red line across the middle. We also have a neat feature in the corner, which is our storage compartment that allows the kids to keep all their cell phones in there. We also built brackets that we can hang up the net, so at the end of the night we'll take the net, we'll hang it up to keep the net off the ice and then we can resurface it without the net being in the way. We make ice as much as possible. The Iowa pump's been really fantastic. We attach a hose to the end of it and the hand Zamboni that we got from the nice ring package and at the end of the day it doesn't freeze. We run some hoses up from the bulkhead where the washer is with hot water, cold water. Try to resurface it in the nighttime if it's needed and then if there's a lot of snow that we get we have a ramp for a snow blower and the kids are all great about coming over and shoveling. Maintaining the rink is always a challenge and the nice four foot walls is great until it snows and you have to shovel it all over the wall to clear off the ice. We'd like to put a roof over the whole structure to keep the snow out. Our rink is unique because we have a whole hockey barn to go along with it. We have skates almost in every size, memorabilia. We also have a professional DJ system. We have two sets of goals, regulation hockey goals and regulation pond hockey goals. Last year we started a tournament for pond hockey. It's a lot of fun to get the guys involved. The high boards and the netting are fantastic, especially since now the kids are getting much better with their shooting. Four foot boards make our rink unique that we can Hit the crossbar and you get the ding. I think the unique feature about our rink is the uh, nets so that it catches the pucks when we shoot it over. We had some extra tarp this year, so we cut up some garden boxes and made a little sauce alley. It's kind of a nice way for the kids to just work on their passing. And then if we have younger kids come over and they're learning how to skate, it's a nice little alley for their parents to hold their hands or to push chairs. A great thing about this as well is how our neighbors help. The boards, for the most part, were one-piece units, and it's nice having the neighbors to help set them up, putting in the decking brackets, taking out 500 screws that we use. And as the kids are getting older, they're seeing the value of hard work and effort. It has grown to become a community effort, and that helps us to make it bigger each year, too. The biggest lesson we've learned over the years is make sure you have ground as level as possible and don't go out onto the ice until you are 100% sure it's frozen all the way through because if you do get a big crack it's next to impossible to fix that crack throughout the year. The first year I ever did this I just went to job lot and got a blue liner that I put down and learned that you really need white liners because with the sun absorption into the blue liner we had melting around the sides and the ice never really got as thick as 
it currently is. So the nice rink liner really has proven to pass the test of time. The kids that use the rink are neighbors and a lot of our daughter's friends from the ECHO program. Friends come out and try the rink that have never skated before, so it's great for them to get an introduction to skating. We have a lot of boys and girls that come over for skating parties late nights. We have the music going, the bonfire going. It really is a nice way for the kids to have some place safe and fun to come and hang out. Well, the best part about having a backyard rink is probably coming home from school and getting your homework done and then right after you can just get your skates on and just skate for the whole rest of the day. It's fun to come over and skate here because I get to have a lot of extra practice. I get to hang out with my friends. It's a nice place to skate. There's not people who are going to cut you off. I get to um, have fun with my friends. It's fun to ice skate. You can just sort of skate with all people you know. It's really fun. New skaters can learn how to skate here because they have like people who can help you. I get to hang out with all of my friends and uh, skate better. I think the best part about having a backyard rink is kind of the community that's brought together. The children love to be out here together. They're exercising. I know where they are at night. The best part about having a backyard rink is being able to like come out after school with friends and family. It's really nice to see the grandkids grow up and enjoy the property. Getting to skate with all of my friends. Sometimes I bring my karaoke machine out here and we sing while we skate. It's a lot of fun. It's always a clean environment. We always have fun over here. I love the people here, of course. They're very fun to play with. The best part about having a backyard rink is all of them having fun, smiles all around, keeping active, keeping busy, and enjoyment of the game. I get to play hockey whenever I want. We live down the street, and the best part about having this rink in the neighborhood is being able to skate and play hockey with all your friends around the neighborhood. Having our own rink makes me a better hockey player uh, because I get to practice even when I'm not at practice with my team. Yesterday I had a game and I practiced and I and I got, um, I got a hat trick. It's a little more coarse than a regular ice, so it helps you be a better skater. I kind of get more practice in by coming here. They can work on their creativity, work on their skills. I can practice whenever I have free time and I don't have to drive to a rink. I think our rink should win because it's just always a party with the barn and the DJ system and the lights. It just gets so happy here. We have full four foot walls all the way around with curved corners. We put a lot of hard work into it. It is a great rink with a neighborhood of great kids. This rink should win this contest because of Sauce Alley. It's really amazing. It certainly is not the prettiest rink, but for longevity and functionality, it's just been fabulous to see it bring the smiles that it does to the kids' faces. Each rink has its own special touches that helped it earn its spot as a finalist in this year's contest. For the Asunto family, a well-stocked hockey barn means friends can always join in on the game and lighted red and blue lines keep the fun going all night long. For the McNamara family, permanent boards all around mean their yard is always hockey ready and a charging station means cell phones and skaters never run out of power. And for the Weira family, a sauce alley lets new skaters and passing practicers do their thing in style. Everyone who entered this year's contest poured their heart and souls into their backyard rinks, but there can only be one winner. Our 7th annual 2017 backyard rink contest winner is the Asunto family from Marlboro. Gotta love Connecticut hockey!